Hey, Mr. Mayor. Well, I quite enjoyed that uh, speech. Um, I'm afraid mine's not as comical. Mr. Mayor, Councillor Peatfield has indeed set the cat amongst the pigeons with this motion, clearly designed to flush out the UKIP councillors, all of whom are whip free, unlike the rest of the chamber. The problem I have, Mr. Mayor, is that Labour cannot be trusted. They have proved this time and time again. They get angry and nasty when you challenge them, and Councillor Peatfield, in her short time as a councillor, has fitted well into such a role. I noticed her vitriol on social media against Councillor Poulter, accusing him of not attending Remembrance Sunday, only to find he attended his local service in Sponden. Also, you may recall that she, uh, she signed an, uh, a motion of, no, of a call-in for the SEND children, yet she failed to turn up to defend them. As for Councillor Baselis, this is just pure opportunistic electioneering as he is up for election this year and hopes this will win him some votes. Which brings me to the root of the motion. I stand corrected, Mr. Mayor, it's next year. Why haven't the leaders, Le Labour leadership brought this motion? Surely their confidence in the motion would suggest that it is they that sparked the revolution, not the underlings. Previous leadership of this council was appalling under the last Labour leader, leader and the one before. It was Labour that introduced the incinerator. It was Labour that ignored the people that voted for them. It was Labour that cared not, not about the health of local residents, yet now they pretend to be saviours. I don't know where you've been, Councillor Peatfield, but when you say 10 years, what did you do 10 years ago? What did they do 10 years ago? What did he do 10 years ago? What did you do nine years ago? What did you do eight years ago? What did you do seven years ago? What did you do six years ago? You did nothing except accept this incinerator. I have no doubt in my mind that due to officer advice, these very same Labour councillors would not end the contract if this motion were to succeed and they would be dancing in the streets, duping us. Just remember, Mr. Mayor, it was Councillor Bayliss that stood on the very steps of our council house with the deselected Councillor Winter campaigning against the incinerator, pretending to the public that they actually gave a damn. Soon after, when he became the leader of this council, he stood and smirked at the public as he did nothing to prevent the incinerator taking shape. That is the shame this, this chamber needs to remember. It was disgraceful then, and it is disgraceful now. Furthermore, Mr. Mayor, I could not forgive myself if I allowed the new Labour leader to, leader to take the helm of this council. A councillor that told the public that she had spoken to every leader on this council prior to the council's AGM. I can assure the council chamber that she did not speak to me or any of my colleagues. She does not want the best for Derby. She wants to play to her momentum-minded audience. <laughs> showing how she would never work with UKIP. She can't even get all her members to the council chamber on this important motion. The party that speaks up for all the residents and at every level is UKIP. <laughs> if I am frank, Mr. Mayor, the second best choice for Derby at the moment is to have a conservative-led council. A leadership who did talk to us along with the Liberal Democrats, a party who is willing to listen locally, a party that only has seven months to work out how to put right the appalling mess the previous administration left us. We have an agreement with them and we will stick to our principles.